Excuse me, is there something I can help you find? Oh, I doubt it. I'm a 60s movie buff, and I've been to eight video stores in the last three days looking for the last movie, I don't know the name, that had both Peter Sellers and, and Woody Allen in it. Nobody has it. Uh, that would be Casino Royale. It's a spoof on James Bond films. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, now that I know the title, all I have to do is find it. Oh, I don't know. That's a pretty rare title. Let's take a look. Oh, great. Buster, what's up? Blockbuster carries thousands of titles, but they're not all in every store. You could make this a lot easier on yourself, plus show your customers how to find almost any movie they're looking for. Got it? Got it. You got it? Where? No, I mean, I've got a great idea. Have you ever seen our gigantic catalog called Video Log? It's got every movie title that's on video. You mean there are more titles than what you have here? That's right. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, here it is. Casino Royale. You know, if you ordered this today, it would probably be in by the end of the week. Then I could call you and you would be the proud owner of the last movie with Sellers and Allen. Fantastic. Uh, that's just what I need for my collection. Oh, what movies do you collect? The comedies. And I'm just starting a Peter Sellers series. I really don't know much about his films. Oh, he's one of my favorites, especially in The Pink Panther. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, why not consider renting Return of the Pink Panther? Oh, I haven't seen that in years. Great idea. Okay, I'll go get you a copy. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to get your attention. Well, if you don't mind, I'd rather you stick with the whistle. What is it this time? I found the man his movie. Yes, and you're still batting 500. How so? You remember? Listen, think, act? Right. Peter Sellers' comedy movies for rent. Good. Now think again. PVT tapes. That's right. Pink Panther movies are for sale. There you go. So, maybe you could show him the PVT tapes? Right. Okay, here's your tapes and your popcorn and your raisinets. You'll be a real hit with Brian and all his friends. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have these back Saturday by midnight. Okay, thanks. Oh, and if you see Brian, tell him Mom's delivery service has him covered. Okay. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, you again. Look, I haven't missed an opportunity in at least 15 minutes. No, you've been doing great. But there's a real challenge coming your way. This isn't going to be your ordinary opportunity. Well, I'll be fine. It's just a matter of listening, thinking, and acting on it. There's nothing to it. Good. And remember, Anything a customer says or does can be a clue. And sometimes you have to listen very carefully to hear an opportunity. Thanks, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, we'll see. Here comes Marge Simpson. You know, the one that keeps trying to introduce you to her son, Doug. Doug's a nerd. Yeah, maybe so. But Mrs. Simpson is an opportunity. If you can find it. Hello, Mrs. Simpson. Hi, Marie. Marie, have you ever met my son, Douglas? Hi, Doug. Hello, Marie. <laughs> so, looks like you have everything you wanted? Yes, but sometimes I just can't make up my mind. You have such a large selection. I know. We have over 6,000 titles in our store. 
problem is my husband, Richard. He just goes bananas if I spend more than $10 on movies. Of course, he spends that on fishing lures and never thinks twice about it. And I really wanted two more tapes. $10 limit. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just come in the store more often? You get two or three more tapes each week. That way you'd stay below your husband's $10 limit and you'd get to see more movies each month. Well, you are so helpful and clever. Doug, isn't she sweet? She's, she's sunshine on a cloudy day. Oh. Right. Is there anything else I can get you? Uh, we have a special on microwave popcorn. No, I don't think so. Besides, honestly, I don't think that old clunker of a VCR is going to make it through all these tapes. The picture just isn't clear anymore. Don't even think about it. Well, I don't think about it, Marie, but it really is getting bad. Have you cleaned your VCR heads recently? No. Come to think of it, I don't think we ever have. Well, they say you should every 20 hours or so. This is what we use on ours here in the store. Oh. I think it does a really good job. Well, maybe I'll give it a try. Okay, that'll be... 1584. Right, 1584. Here it is, 15, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, come on up, Doug. Goodbye, Marie. Parting is such sweet sorrow. He has a way with words, doesn't he? Bye. Bye. Don't forget, Saturday before midnight. So, how was I? You were terrific. Now, are you ready to go out on your own? Honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, I almost missed out on that opportunity with Mrs. Simpson. But you didn't. So tell me, what have you learned? Well, to listen to the customers very carefully and to think because anything they do or say may be signs of their needs and to act on the opportunities once you see or hear them and then to give the customers the kind of service they expect that's about it isn't it mm. well that takes care of that i guess now i'm the opportunity expert Okay, 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 already. I should have told him about the VCP rentals and cables. Joan? Oh, Marie. Have we found a little friend to talk to? Oh, friend? Oh, no. I was... I right, was... Right, right? Hi, Marie. Oh, Brian. Brian Harris. I, you just missed your mom, but I helped her pick out some great videos. I hear you're having a little get-together over at your house. Yeah. Hey, just remember. Listen, think, and act. And, uh... Tell Buster I said hi. So, let me show you this picture.